Hello students, let us see this question here. The frequency of vibration f of mass m suspended from a spring of a spring constant k, right, given by relation f is equal to this, where c is dimensionless constant, all right, the values of x and y we need to find. So see, I can say from here the relation is given f is equal to c m raised to power x and k raised to power y. So from here I can say, uh, Right, the dimension of f will be equal to the dimension of c m raised to power x k raised to power y. So, as you all know, c is the dimensionless constant. So, from here I can say the dimension of frequency will be equal to the dimension of m raised to power x into the dimension of k raised to power y because c is the dimensionless. So, anything which is dimensionless have the dimension of 1. So, this multiplied by 1 will be equal to this only. So, so this will be there okay so from here i can say f is the frequency so the frequency is having the dimension of t raised to power minus 1 all right that is equal to m is mass here so that will be m raised to power x into k you will see this is the spring constant so as you all know the force is equal to sorry my mistake force is equal to kx so from here the dimension of f is equal to m l t raised to power minus 2 all right is equal to k and the dimension of x x is the distance here so this will have the dimension of l so this l will get cancelled out and from here i can say m t raised to power minus 2 that will be the dimension of k so this k dimension i can put here because this is the dimension of k so that will be m t raised to power minus 2 raised to power y Alright, so from here I can say this will become t raised to power minus 1 is equal to m raised to power x and y from here. So, x plus y into t raised to power minus 2y. Now, from here, uh, if I compare both sides, then I can say x plus y must be equal to 0. Alright, because here the mass is having the 0 dimension. So, that is 0. Minus 2y must be equal to minus 1. So, from here I can say this y will be equal to 1 upon 2. Alright. So, y is coming 1 upon 2. So, from the relation 1 I can say x must be equal to minus 1 upon 2. So, this will be the answer here. So, let us see which option is matching. x is equal to minus 1 upon 2 and y is equal to 1 upon 2. So, option 4th is matching. x is equal to minus 1 upon 2 and y is equal to 1 upon 2. So, d is correct. Okay, students, I hope you understood this question.